Welcome. This is Melinda Parlow, CZT, and I'm getting ready to teach a class on illuminated letters. And so we'll be needing some borders. So I've been working on some border tangles. And this border tangle is by Ping Min, CZT, and she calls it Three Loops Six. And I've changed just a tiny bit on how I do it so that it can be done in a border. And you can see I've got some little examples here of um, three loop six done in a border. And I'm just going to use these little scraps of paper to simulate a border. And I'm going to start out by putting some dots. And I'm going to space them about the size I want my three loop six to be. It helps it me space them a little better. If I just do it freehand, I don't have quite the same spacing, but I just use my pen and border down, um, put down my three loop six. And I can start right here at the top, and I'm going to make a loop. There's three loops and a six. Do it again. One, two, three loops. And she calls that a six. I call it a little curly cue. One, two, three, and a little six. Now you can make these going either direction. So if you really want to work your brain a little bit, if you're left or right handed, it's going to make a difference. So I'm going to do three loops going the opposite way. One, two, three, and then come back. So I've got them going opposite. I have to think I'm going to go this other direction. And one more. One, two, three, and my little loop. So you can see here's three going the same direction. Here's three alternating. Now I like to put a little, I like a little black. So I want a little contrast in. So I'm going to put in here a little teardrop. On the illuminated letters, the border needs to have a little bit more. I just like them to be a little bit fancier, extra, so I'm just going to go back and put that um, little extra here. It could also be done, and I'm going to bring over another little it could be a standalone. So if you want, I'm going to put just three little dots because it helps me space. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's put the six. And there's a little standalone. So we'll do it again. Might be easier to and then the six, and then rotate it, and do one, two, three, six. So you've got a little flowery looking one. I'm going to put my little, because I like a little dark. And there we have three loops, six. Easy, fun, tangle makes a great border and you can follow and um, subscribe to my channel because you are going to see a class on illuminated lettering. I can give you a sneak preview. There is a little sneak preview on illuminated lettering. Keep watching. Thanks. See you later.